hello 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 so today is my first attempt at ever doing a vlog style um youtube video so let's just jump right into it um about five minutes ago my mom surprised me and told me she was a minute away from my crib so she is currently here entertaining the children which is great because i wasn't feeling the best today um not because of any sickness or anything we're just going through you know regular womanly uh monthly um things but we're okay we're good we're good we're good god has blessed us with another day to rejoice so we must must rejoice okay um so i was actually getting ready to do some nails so i'm just gonna prop it up on my desk and get ready my husband also uses our office space to do his you know his um content and all about jesus that's what he do all about jesus you can go follow him at hebrew world on youtube okay and he will give you that good word so i'm just in the office right now and um since we share the desk i have to like put my stuff back on the desk so that's what i'm gonna do right now um okay Okay, y'all, so I'm not going to be showing y'all, like, the, you know, the actual um, process and steps because it's not really that type of video. This is just, like, you know, like, um, like I said, like a vlog video. So, if you hear any, like, screeching or screaming or laughter or, you know, toys or whatever, them is my kids playing with their well out because they're super excited that she's here on some surprise. Y'all, tell me why these nails are busted and I only have one hand done because because i was trying out for the first time um this gel what do you call it oh it's build the gel look i don't know nothing um i was trying this out for the first time and the process was not terrible it really was not terrible um but i didn't have the energy or the time to do my other hand and i definitely didn't even really like the way these came out as you can see i actually used a different tip on this nail on my pointer than i did the rest of my fingers so they all kind of looked just a little too wonky for me and um with this specific i got this from amazon with this specific um builder gel you have to like cleanse the nail, uh, wipe it with alcohol after every layer of application. And I didn't know that. So I kind of went through like a lot of trials. I thought it wasn't curing. And um, I felt like when I had to wipe it off every single time, it was kind of like taking a layer of the, the, the product with it. So it wasn't the thickness that I needed it to be, you know, for the apex and all of these things. So I kept, I, the process took way longer than I wanted it to. I felt like if I was working on my sister, honestly, the only other person that I really do nails on and my mom sometimes, um, it would have been way faster. So I think I might try it out with her and see how she's feeling about it. But um, that's the long story as to why my other hand is not done. And I've been like this for like four days, y'all. The struggle for moms is real. I'm a stay-at-home mom. And, you know, we just got other priorities. I have little babies. You know, when you got big babies, you could do more stuff for yourself. But I got little babies. I got a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Soon to be one-year-old. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyways, we're about to start this birthday set for one of my um, clients. I know she wants a tapered square, so I'm gonna just get the um, get those out for her real quick. Yo, I have so many nails. Like, that's what it goes. I think I'm gonna use these. Yes. 
These are like super XXL. She wants um, them to be medium to long. So that's what we're gonna do for sure. These are the size tips I'm gonna be using. They're XXL, 3XL. And I really like them. They're really, really strong and really, really sturdy. Really, really strong, really, really sturdy. And look how long that is, y'all. Super long. So you can get a lot of different looks with these, you know. And they're tapered square. They're not like a super flared square. I find that when you get XXL square nails. Or these are actually like 2XL. I want to say 3XL. Um, when you get those, they tend to be very like flared at the tip. And these are not whatsoever. So it's minimal filing, which we love. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get her sizes real quick. And I'm going to get them on the sticky tabs. And then I'll just be back to talk to y'all. These are super long, super long. So I'm just guesstimating how long we should make them so that way they could be to her desired length. She wants a medium long, so we can't go too short because then we could mess it all up. I'm gonna say like right there because the thumbs, the thumbs should be a little bit shorter, you know, because we gotta do things with our thumbs. So to make sure they're the same size, I like to just put the corresponding nail from one hand to the other right on top of each other. When you're doing this, just make sure that if there are two different sizes on two different sides, you don't mix them up. So what I like to do is I always like to put the right hand on top of the left just so I know, okay, this one's the right and this one's the left. So like right now, we're doing the pointers now. This ain't supposed to be no tutorial thing, but I'm just walking y'all with y'all what I'm going through. So speaking of what I'm going through, y'all, I've been going through so much love and light. Y'all, my bad days is not even bad days, y'all. I have great days. You know, it's just so interesting how, how life can change for people in the matter of days. And it's not because of money it is not because i won the lottery it is not because of anything i did win the lottery but it's to salvation okay the lottery of salvation which is everlasting life and to be honest ain't nothing more um important than that there's nothing more important than that y'all so in case you don't know what everlasting life is, it's the promise that God has given to us when you believe that he brought Jesus to us to die for our sins. That is what everlasting life is when you believe that Jesus died on the third day, excuse me, died on the cross and resurrected on the third day. You are given eternal salvation, okay? And not only that, but you get a different type of life also on this earth because you are no longer a slave to earthly things. What do I mean by earthly things? Yes, can I be more specific? Yes, I can. A slave to earthly things like alcohol, fornication, money things that a lot of the time we don't have any control over but has a lot of control over us and a lot of the times these are the things that get us into depression anxiety all weapons formed 
from the enemy, okay? So, my life has been completely different. <laughs> I no longer crave the things that I once craved. Um, my husband actually has my testimonial video up on his channel. So, if you want to go check that out, again, his, um, his YouTube is Hebrew World. I'll link it below too since I'm referencing it twice. Um, but basically my testimonial video was about how Jesus delivered me from smoking weed and from the flu and from um, a respiratory infection that me and my entire family had. So if you want to go check that out, you can go do that. If not, I might eventually put it up on my channel anyway. But um, yeah, life has been completely different. Like... And it's, y'all, I can't express to y'all how grateful I am, how grateful that I have been chosen by the most high, Yeshua HaMashiach, my Lord and Savior, okay, Jesus Christ. I cannot tell you because my life is night and day from what it was. A lot of the times I was stressed, so stressed I had like the highest levels of anxiety you could possibly have. And, you know being a mom of two and a wife and living in new york city where everything is just extremely expensive all the time it's kind of like this go 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 and being busy is um another tactic from the enemy to keep us from praising god and reading our bibles so sorry that was loud so once i figured all of these things out by reading the Bible, my life just became so much more clear and I was able to put things into perspective, like what really matters in this life and what really matters is putting God first so that way everything else can fall in line. I remember when I was younger, I had one to Yogi Bear. Shout out to my 80s and 90s babies who know what Yogi Bear is, but basically Yogi Bear was this... <laughs> basically a bus a yellow bus will come and get you all the kids from the block and you will go to yogi bear i don't even know where the location was all i know was like an arena type area and they would give out gifts and prizes and pizza and you know they would talk about god and i remember one time um actually the first and last time i ever went not the first and last time but like i went a few times but the last time i ever went they was actually talking about um, God and Jesus and how you're supposed to put them before your parents and uh, before your siblings and before your teachers and all of these things. And I was just really confused as a child because my parents never spoke to me about God and Jesus. Honestly, I don't even know my my father was a quote unquote atheist. God rest his soul. Um, I hope my um, I hope Jesus has uh, mercy on him. But when I heard that, I remember being very, very scared because I didn't have any back knowledge on what that really meant. And to like not put your parents first, like I'm just like, when my parents brought me into this world, lo and behold, the only reason any of us are on this earth is because God chose us, you know, from the womb to be on this earth, his heavenly earth. So, you know, it was it's all of these things that I'm learning now that I'm just extremely grateful for. Just extremely grateful for. I just my life is just night and day. Um, I have no temptation to smoke marijuana anymore. I have no urge to um just be out in the world. I don't listen to secular music anymore. Um it's just extremely not just raunchy, but it actually has this way of brainwashing you into thinking you need the things of this world when you really don't. And it's not a coincidence because our um, enemy up in heaven, he was made basically from heavenly pipes. So his he was able to make the most beautiful music that you could ever hear. So it's not really a coincidence that the people who are idolized and worshipped are musicians and celebrities on this earth. It's not a coincidence. And if you follow or hear the news at all, you can you will know that they're going really, really hard lately about this anti-Jesus movement. And I am not with it. I am recently saved, but I am all for it. I'm I've been a warrior. I didn't it's crazy because I've had all my life I've like had this 
a longing for something and that longing has finally been fulfilled yeah i'm just so grateful and i really 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 pray that anybody who is lost that you find your way back to the sheepfold and jesus brings you back into the sheepfold because it is the most beautiful warm joyous and loving place to be and i cannot stress this enough okay so i'm gonna get these nails started this air um this air this fan is pretty loud this dust collector is pretty loud so i'm just gonna file these nails and then get back to y'all safety first y'all Okay, y'all, we are back, and um, I'm ready to start painting. So first, I'm going to be doing a base coat, Model one's base coat. Um, and yeah, I was just checking some of the inspo that she had sent me. Pretty basic. She wanted a French marble at first, but then she also gave me, like, creative freedom in her, like, last few texts because it was, like, on and off for, like, literally a month. Um, So I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give her, like, a little bit of her marble that she wanted but also like a springtime collaboration. So I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. I think it's gonna come out really, really, really cute though. So we excited. Um, I'm using my, my, I'm using Model One's base coat. My favorite base coat. Uh, Model One's is super inexpensive and it gets the job done, okay? Yeah, so today was a resting day for me for the most part. I'm honestly, Clearly, God was just like, you're going to need some help. So, I'm going to send your mom here early. Thank you, Lord, for bringing her here safely today. Um, I didn't even ask her if she ate anything. Now, I got to figure out if I have to feed her or not. But, yes, I it was a pretty restful day. Um, I woke up really early because that's the time the boys like to wake up. They wake up around like 8 a.m. Um, and, yeah, I woke up, woke up with them, got them ready for the morning lots of breast milk and um just breakfast for soul oh my goodness my baby's tired he barely took a nap today so it's about to be that time <laughs> my baby's calling me right now he's tired he don't know what to do without his boobies when he's um tired but my head my <laughs> well on the job so she gonna get him ready for um bed before I have to go stop and go feed him. But yeah, it was a super restful day. I was like trying to thug it out with these cramps for some reason. And then um I decided to pop a Tylenol and I was playing catch with my my toddler on the bed. And then before I knew it, I was sleeping. And I really needed that nap, y'all. It was great, you know. God wants us to rest our body and listen to, listen to our bodies because these are our temples, so we have to take care of them. They are God. It's the dwelling place for God, the Holy Spirit. So we have to listen to our bodies and take care of our bodies, you know. Because this is his dwelling place. He don't want to be dwelling in no nasty places. And he don't. He don't dwell in no nasty places. Okay. I'm already getting hungry, y'all. I had um, made some rice with salmon bites and mixed vegetables with cornbread yesterday. And I had heated heat up the leftovers and made it like a um, mixed like thing. Like I mixed everything up and um, it was banging, but I'm hungry. This baby be draining me. If any of my breastfeeding moms out there, y'all already know. Got to stay hydrated and well fed. Definitely have those good snacks on hand too. My baby has F pies, so that just means he has um a sensitivity to certain grains and stuff. And the grains that he's um sensitive to are rice and oats, and it's actually pretty rare um allergy. Um, but my son, my toddler, also has F pies, so they're both allergic to rice and oats. It was supposed to be a rare occurrence, but they both got it. So I have to be pretty mindful about what I eat. And um, I can't really stay away from rice. I try to limit my rice intake, but I love me some rice. So sometimes he'll have like slight diarrhea because of it. So um, no more rice for the rest of the week. 
But I also noticed that as he's getting older, it's actually um, calming down. It used to be really bad when he was like six months. I would eat rice and the next day he would like be doodled all the way up his back. It would be crazy. It would be insane. But um, it's getting better. So I'm hoping that that also means that he's outgrowing his allergy. Which would be fantastic. Um, if you don't know what F-Pies is, most kids who have F-Pies, they actually are um, able to outgrow them allergy by three years old so i'm praying that that's what's happening so um this is the model one's base color um collection and it's called um redefine and i'm going to be using one of the colors from this collection i think i'm gonna use like a baby pink it's like a birthday set so i want it to be like super cute and super like um thing hello 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 there my husband, everybody. So, you seen a charger? I can't see none of the, I can't find none of the chargers. Babe, there's one literally on the, unless you moved it, it's been there for two days. Wait. On the, uh, right here in the sofa. There's no charger there. Well, you could have this one. You got both of them there. No, the other one, I took that one from the room. That's what I'm saying. You plug your phone, you got your phone plugged in. That's for the wire that you have. Oh. Yeah, watch your feet. My husband, everybody. Anyways, this is the color. You want to see it, y'all? Super pretty. Super bubblegum. Okay, I hope I'm going to have to do one coat, but we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to do this one. Thank you for your Hello, hello, hello. So I didn't get to come back on yesterday to um show you guys the nails, so I will show you now. Came okay. so are they pretty? They came out really good. Y'all, every single time my mom comes over, my schedule just goes kaput. Kaput, 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 okay? So, I had plans to do certain things and run certain errands. And I'm still going to do them, but now we're just moving a little slower. I have to strip my sheets and clean my room. Because I'm going to go downstairs and do some laundry. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, stop in and say hello. Woke up with this lovely, lovely, uh, whatever you want to call it. But, whatever. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, okay? Um, I did wake up early today, but I went back to sleep. Um, my sister locked herself out. My sister lives, my twin sister lives with my mom. And my mom is at my house right now. So she um had to come all the way over here to get my mom's keys. Y'all, she woke up everybody up at like seven o'clock in the morning to do that, to get these keys. And um, it's a good thing my mom picked up the phone because my phone be on Do Not Disturb until like 9 a.m. So, yeah, we kind of got a little rattled and my mom's still sleeping. I'm about to go wake her up because it's a lot. And yes, like I said, I'm about to strip my sheets and clean my room. Okay, everything's a little messy right now. Okay, everything's a little messy. My husband is washing the dishes. Got her. God bless his soul. So, um, I'm going to also be making breakfast. Don't know what I'm going to make. Something easy and simple, honestly. I'm trying to get these curtains open so I can wake myself up. <clears throat> but, yeah, I will see you guys soon. My mom is finally up, so I'm going to close her bed, too, and um, 
just clean up the sala. So it was pretty um, late in the afternoon and I still haven't put the clothes down yet because I had to go um, and cook and eat after, you know, cleaning up a little bit. But we got a little brun brunch breakfast sandwich. We got some turkey bacon, egg and cheese on some potato bread. Okay. So we're going to bless our food and we're going to eat. Okay. Oh, my baby's getting fussy. So Lord, I want to thank you so much for all the abundance that you have bestowed upon our apartment, Lord Father God, our home. Thank you for keeping us safe and in joy and in love in your precious blood, Lord Father God, Jesus. I want to thank you for all that you're doing, all that you are. Lord, I ask that you please bless and sanctify this meal as I eat it for the purpose of nourishing my body, Lord. Thank you again, Lord Father God, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, good morning. So I actually washed clothes yesterday, which was fantastic. I'm a little shiny because I just washed up, you know, moisturized. But um, got to wash clothes yesterday, <clears throat> which was great. My husband helped me. We got to do that together because, again, where that's here. So she was holding on the boys while we was washing clothes together. Made it just so much faster, which was great. I'm about to go run some errands with my mom, but first we got to straighten up, you know, and get the boys ready because we're taking the boys with us. Um, first of all, glory to God for another day. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Um, waking us up another day, waking my family up. Truly, truly appreciate it. All the glory is yours, Lord Father God, Jesus. Thank you. 
Um, if you didn't today, make sure you thank Jesus for waking you up. Thank God for waking you up today, okay? Um, it's such a beautiful thing that we are able to wake up and have life. There are people who did not get the opportunity today. And you have to rejoice in every day that he has given because every day is a gift on his earth. This is his footstool and we are only here to please God, okay? So that's first and foremost. So thank you, Lord. Um, so I'm going to get ready to um, run these errands. And it's going to be a little while because we got to get ready and also got to get the boys ready. So. So the room that me and my husband currently are in is, <laughs> speaking of him and he will show up, um, that room that my, me and my husband are currently in actually used to be the office space. And we decided to take a sacrifice and switch the main room with the office space room as our room. So um, the master room, we decided to use it as the office and slash gym and take the small room and just you know have it as our um little room the transition it wasn't like a super easy decision but we had to make that sacrifice so that way we could do the things that we need to do more comfortably in the office and since we were in the office so much more than our room and honestly all i do in my room is pray read my bible sleep and watch tv so all of those things are really done on the bed. I don't usually like maneuver a lot. So we did make that sacrifice until I'm telling y'all, it's the, was the best sacrifice. We've been able to function so much better, making content, working out, and not having to struggle for space. So it's been such a great thing. The only thing is, is I make my bed every day. So when I make my bed, I have to like move the bed forward. So I have to move the bed every day just to make it, but it's really not that big of a deal because in retrospect, we had no room in here to do anything, basically. My nail desk was in here. Our workout equipment was in here. My husband's studio stuff was in here. And this room was just way too small for all of that. So, you know, we decided to make that sacrifice and it was very, very, very well worth it. We prayed on it and God was just like, do it. Do it, okay? So we did it. Now back to making a bed again. <laughs>
Okay, so really quick. <clears throat> Cause I definitely do want to start getting ready and I definitely have to eat something before I leave but just a reason why I make my bed every morning you know and honestly I give everything to God and one of the things is that I felt like I was like super procrastinating in the mornings and I didn't really understand why I would like linger in the bed a lot and of course I'm a breastfeeding mom and that really takes a lot of energy out of you especially in the morning feedings my son actually fell asleep throughout the night for the first time and um literally last night he slept through the entire night and it was the first time like to the point where i was like slightly paranoid because i was just like oh should i go check on him i don't want to wake him up but he's such a good sleeper so in my mind i was just like i gave it to god i was like god is protecting him while he sleeps i pray over my babies all the time so um every day pray over your kids every day moms and and fathers everybody pray over your kids the the, the children in your family um so back to the point about making the bed i was like super procrastinating all the time <clears throat> excuse me and i noticed i was just like you know i like to get back into bed and like the middle of the day sometimes because i need a nap or whatever the case may be which is not a problem again i breastfeed all throughout the day and i'm super busy all throughout the day and sometimes i just need that little recuperation moment but having your bed done just sets the tone for the rest of the day like, if you make your bed in the beginning of the day, I notice personally that I have more of a productive day. I'm less likely to stay in the bed longer or go back in the bed. Like, say, after I come back from the bathroom or, you know, after I get the boys settled, I'm less likely to get back in the bed. Unless, again, if I'm not feeling too well or whatever the case may be. But make your bed, y'all. It really does help. It does set the tone for the rest of the day and also gives you kind of, like, the energy to clean other things in the house that might need to, you know, be spruced up, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. Anywho... I'm going to start getting ready. I'm going to do my hair, y'all. I think I'm going to prop y'all up while I do my hair, too. Um, this video is already getting a little long, so I think I am going to end it on today's, um, you know, little session of the vlog. But, yes, so I'll be back. Um, I have the boys clothes ready, my clothes ready, and I'm cooking breakfast now, so I'm going to the kitchen. Alright, so I'm making my mom sausage first because she doesn't eat meat, so I'm making her an her impossible sausage. I'm also making pancakes with eggs, and I'm making myself some turkey bacon, so yeah, and I'm also making some iced coffee. I want iced coffee, and my mom wants hot coffee, so gotta heat the water up in the little teapot. Yo, when my mom is in my house, my kitchen is just, like, immaculate. It's always so clean. Like, I try and keep my kitchen clean, but honestly, with everything else, it just be pretty hard. Like, my kitchen be clean at the end of the day. When my mom is here, my kitchen is clean at all times. It's... Oh, thank you, Lord. Um, you know, my husband be holding down the dishes because he knows, like, I do not like dishes on top of cooking. He doesn't really cook, so I cook and he do the dishes, so my husband definitely be holding down the dishes. But when I tell you the counters is clean, she be cleaning my stove. Y'all, I just love my mother so much, y'all. <laughs> hey, Sticky. Want you want pancakes? Yeah. All right, puppy. I'm going to make you some pancakes right now. All right? Yeah. The child has spoken, so I will be back. Okay, y'all. So I am finally sitting down, getting ready to eat. And um, like I said, I made some pancakes, turkey bacon, and eggs. Everybody already ate, the babies are fed, grandma fed, husband fed, so you know, it's time for me to sit down and eat. I'm actually sitting down in the office, um, because I just need a moment. So I'm eating in the office, my office is a little messy right now, because yesterday when I did laundry, that comforter didn't dry, so I had to hang it up. So, anywho, just the, this is the breakfast. Okay. Honestly, I'm not super hungry anymore because I drank all my iced coffee already. And, you know, if you drink coffee, sometimes it just could fill you up. But I'm still going to eat this breakfast because that baby going to drain me and I'm going to be hungry in like 15 minutes. So let's pray over our food and let's eat. <clears throat> Lord, Father God, I want to thank you so much for this day, for this amazing morning. I would love to thank you for the abundance in my home, Lord, Father God. The abundance of love, joy, food, blessings 
so much love and so much joy. Thank you, Father. Father God, I want to thank you so much for protecting us and waking us up this morning, Lord Father God, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I ask that you continue to protect all of those that are in the sheepfold. Your sheep, oh, Father God, and may we follow and do your will exactly as you give it to us, the directions, Lord Father God, Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Father God. I ask that you continue to protect my family while we walk outside and run these errands, Lord. I want to thank you for all that you do and all that you are. Lord Father God, I ask that you please bless and sanctify this meal for the purpose of nourishing my body. And may it go down well. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to eat later. Hello. Just wanted to show you guys my about to do errands fit. I got the Mets snap bag on. Kill Cardigan. Some Supreme like joggers and my Sakonis. Okay, it's a clean little fit. Gonna throw my little Mets jacket on and call it a day. Okay, let's go. Like, uh, uh, um, tell you the truth, you, you live more closer to the beach than me. Yeah, I don't think anybody lives that close to me. I was told that Lucy always lives closer. Well, she probably lives like closer to the corner. Oh, yeah. oh. Hi, say hi, boy. Say hello. Hi, hey, Linda. Hey, Linda. Vito, he's still waking up. I know. <laughs> What's up, Sol? Say hi, Sol. Hey, what's up, y'all? I think it's like going on two something, probably two fifteen, and we finally made it outside to go run these errands. Um, we are going to the post office first, and then we are going to post office, and then we're gonna go to the supermarket. And those are our errands for the day. Okay, so we out. Mommy, say hi. Hi. Hello. Have a good day. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> You trying to kick your sneakers off? Don't do it. <laughs>